So when they go to initially order the Rackstar, they're going to get, they're going to pick what frame they want, which comes in eight different sizes. Um, it has to be specific to their laser bed, doesn't have to match it perfectly, but they'll get the rail system. There will be some assembly required, um, which is essentially just kind of adding these and putting it together as a frame. And then the rails, depending on what size of frame system you get, you'll get either six, eight, 10, or 16 different rails. They're all gonna be the si same size. But again, it's all gonna have the same um, to make them interchangeable and match up evenly. And then you're gonna get the V-blocks, which would line up wherever you have your rails and are just gonna snap right in. With these V-blocks is that you can quickly level horizontally and vertically um, any kind of odd shaped item. So such as this crystal, which normally wouldn't lay flat, you know, you'd have to get it to get to a flat surface. So placing it on the V-blocks, like I said, these are all gonna just line up I set it on this, it's straight across here. All of these are gonna be level and straight because it's just gonna be up in the top left corner of their laser. So when you put on this, it's already flat, level. It leaves that little area, little area like that sitting there. So flat, flat items like this, or if they were to cut plastic, say like our badge blanks, are gonna use their normal two inch or one and a half inch lens that th that's basic to their laser. So they'll be able to run these kind of things. And like I said, the flat plastic, um, MDF board, anything like that. Um, and this is nice when cutting those flat things, such as like the plastic, when they put it on here, when the laser beam hits this cone, it's gonna deflect off and not go through like it does on the normal honeycomb table of a laser. So you're not gonna get that flashback. You're not gonna get that extra sticky residue on the back of the plastic because of the design of these cone shapes. So then if they want to switch to um, doing all of our drinkware, they're gonna first need a four inch lens. That's the biggest thing to know about it is that you're gonna have to upgrade to a four inch lens, which you would have to get through their laser manufacturer. All of these fixtures are gonna have holes like this that'll line up in different areas of the system. And you just move it to whatever one you're using. It's going to sit right down onto the cones like that. So this one being our, our basic 20 inch or 20 ounce cups. So they're going to use their four inch lens so they get more coverage on their cup. And each template as well is going to be set up. They'll be able to see the Rackstar system, where the rails are, and then all of them will have crosshairs where they can snap their artwork in. And it's going to show their max artwork that they can do. So for instance, on these 20 ounce, they're gonna put in their artwork at 2.3 inches and it's gonna laser to two and a half. So these five cups, normally in a rotary, you'd put it in two and a half, maybe three minutes to have it rotate. Then you take it out, place your next cup in. These put five cups up, these all lasered. With this whole design, this big, it was under 10 minutes. So you're getting five cups in less than 10 minutes. So by the time you even take these out, clean them, rebox, and put their lids back on, your next five will probably be done.